Shalom, 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 family. This is Yahya Ezra Ben Living, aka Tommy Kurt Todd. Shalom, love, and blessings to you all. As the Shabbat is right around the corner, Yah's holy day of rest. Uh, I just want to make this quick video addressing um, a topic that I was um, talking about with a brother and sister. Um, they are Christians, they are Messianics, and they question me about. Do I still sacrifice animals um, since I do not accept um, Jesus as the Messiah or Yehoshua or Yahabashai, whatever you may feel comfortable calling him? And they were saying, since you do not embrace the Christ, um, do you still sacrifice animals? Um, do you offer up blood of lamb and goats? to receive forgiveness of your sins when you transgress Torah and when you do not walk upright according to the divine instructions of Yehovah. And I let them know, <laughs> no, I do not. It's pretty obvious that I do not. Um, because cause one thing when I hear many people say that, and I have heard more people over the last few years say it, do you still offer animal sacrifices? If you read the Torah, if you read the Tanakh, you will know that we cannot sacrifice animals other than in the place where Yahweh choose to have his name be. And that is in Israel where the temple stood. And since there is no temple standing today, the priesthood is not operating and we are outside of the land. We cannot do animal sacrifices. So it gets me when I hear people say, ask them questions, because let me know how many of them do not read the scriptures. They just keep regurgitating nice catchphrases that they think will have someone stumped. But it's not actually having anyone stump that anyone who is scripturally literate enough to understand. We are in exile. We are in a strange land. We are outside of the land of promise. So it's many things within the Torah that we cannot do. Simply because there is no temple. There is no functioning priesthood. And we're outside of the land. But other than that, there are many things within the Torah that we could still keep. And another thing I want to share, all the commandments is not for everybody. And when I hear, uh, I, this is just a quick sidebar. When I hear people say that Jesus kept all the commandments, Yehoshua, Yahabashai kept all the commandments. And then I asked them, did he keep the commandments of when um, the woman was on her cycle or when the woman had gave birth to a child, be it a, a male child or a female. Did he follow those instructions as well? Because you said he kept, remember now, you said he kept them all perfectly. Those are also instructions that are in the Torah, that are laws, that are commandments. And I seriously doubt that Yeshua being a man, if he existed or not, it doesn't matter. It's not really, it's really irrelevant. But if he did or didn't, I seriously do not think he would have kept them commandments that are given to women. I don't think he could have kept those. I don't, I don't believe he could have a period. I don't believe he could have an administration. I just don't. So I seriously doubt he kept those commandments. But let me get right back to it. No... I do not have to believe in him to have um, forgiveness of sins. I simply go to Yahweh. I confess my sins and I repent. It's beyond the just saying I'm sorry. It's being sorrowful for breaking his law. And repenting means to get back on the right track and do what is written in the Torah. It's not enough to say, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Or I got caught and now you feel shameful that you got caught doing your dirt. And now you want to tell God you're sorry. And you want him to forgive you. But you never truly repent. You just tell him you're sorry. 
because if you repent, you turn from your wickedness and you go back to doing things the way Yahuwah instructed you to do them. And that is it. But once again, let me get back on topic. I just want to say this. No, I do not offer the blood of goats and lambs because I do not have to. I go straight to Yahuwah while I'm in this strange land, while there is no temple, while there's no functioning priesthood. I simply go to Yahuwah in prayer and in confession. And when I pray directly to him, I do not end it in the name of someone else. I go directly to Yah and I end my prayer by saying hallelujah. Because it is my belief and it is my faith that Yahuwah hears my prayer. When I come to him in the right way, with the right mind, Yahuwah will hear our prayers and he is faithful and just. He wants his people to repent of their wickedness and return to walk according to his ways. So if we do that, I believe he will forgive us as a people. And that's what we need to do as a people. Corporately, we need to repent and turn from our wickedness. Because corporately, we as a people are doing a whole bunch of wickedness. We have not really um, changed that much from the ways of our ancestors. Because when we look in the um, Hebrew scriptures, we see that they did wickedness. And we're doing the same type of wickedness today. Nothing has changed. We might be a little high tech with it now, but there's nothing new under the sun. So this is all I just wanted to share. No, I do not believe in um, the Christian Messiah. I do not need that God needs to become a man to die for my sins. I do not believe any of that anymore. I believe Yah is one. There is no trinity. Yah is one. Remember that. I trust the um, report of the Lord. That's what he said of himself. That he is one and besides him there is no other. So that's my testimony. And this is your brother Yael. I just want to make this quick video. I went a little bit over. Um, what I wanted to go. And I kind of bounced all over the place. So, But really I just wanted to share that one topic. To let people know. Um. That many people think if you don't believe in a Messiah, the Christian Messiah, that you have to offer up an animal. You have to share the blood of an animal to receive forgiveness from Yah. And it's just not so. So this is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy, a.k.a. Tommy Kurtaj. Shalom, love, and blessings. Till next time. Be safe, family. Peace.